Hey guys, Ruffers for Knife Sharpening again this evening. Um, I'm going to post two videos for you guys, this being the second one. Um, I've got something really cool for you guys. I'm, I'm excited to show this to you. Um, and uh, I'm going to point you guys in the direction of a certain company. Um, before I show it to you guys, I want to tell you, um, Dan's Whetstones, um, they're located in Arkansas, obviously. Um, they, next to the Old Nortons, in my opinion, and I've used them, I've used a lot of Arkansas's, and I know they all come from about the general same area, but Dan's Whetstones is a very, very good company. Um, I have talked to Kim, Carol, let's see, Kim, Carol, and Mr. Dan himself, and uh, very nice people. A, uh, it's, a, it's a family owned business, they're not super small, but they're small enough to where they, they keep it in the family and they really, really pay super attention to quality. I've gotten Arkansas stones from other manufacturers that uh, they've got saw marks and stuff in them, which can be corrected. But rest assured, when you purchase something uh, from Dan's, you're getting like top, top, top notch quality stuff. And for those of you that ask me, um, you know, hey, should I buy this stone or this stone or that stone or whatever? Dan's is a little bit higher than everybody else, but you are paying for, like like I said, top-notch quality. Um, I have yet to get one of their stones or any of their merchandise that's just, that hasn't had any, it, every aspect of it is, is detail-oriented and they they really care about what they're sending out and they want you to have a good product and they strive to to produce that and they they do a phenomenal job with that being said i got a hold of uh i believe i spoke to kim and uh asked her if i could leave some information if i could speak with mr dan and uh she said i'll you know, I'll talk to him, see what I can do, which, you know, he's got a lot going on, running a business as well as the other people there. And uh, it wasn't even an hour and a half later, um, they called me back. And Mr. Dan talked to me for it, at least an hour, at least an hour. Very knowledgeable fellow. And uh, for somebody that, that owns a business to take their time to, to call a customer and to to speak to my to speak to me the way that he spoke to me i just i appreciate that and not a lot of people do that anymore but uh some will and uh i, I do appreciate that for you guys that are watching this i do appreciate it and i i asked him i said uh you know i'm just an average working guy like you guys are too don't have a ton of money to put into what i like doing and i asked him i said i i would like to put you guys' products out there and uh, other than what I have you know I'd like to buy some of the big stuff that they have and show you guys and some of the little stuff and little pocket homes and things like that and I just I can't purchase everything to show you guys that I want to and I asked him I said I said is there any way that you would help me with with anything to to put on my channel to promote you guys kind of help me and um just show them something and uh he, he said, let me see what I can do. And I was supposed to purchase a black Arkansas from them and they was gonna send what I'm getting ready to show you guys uh, also in the same package. I just haven't had the money to get together to to buy the, the primitive cut black Arkansas. I will eventually get it and I will show it to you guys. But uh, this right here, what I'm getting ready to show you guys goes right along with what I've been trying to show you guys and I can push some of his product and it, this thing is so freaking cool. I, ha I haven't even opened it yet. I'm, I'm literally going to open it in front of you guys. Um, Dan, uh, Kim told me that Dan designed this himself. And it is, it is such a simple, simple thing. And I, I encourage you guys that's really want to get into Arkansas Stones and that are trying to learn that consistent angle for freehand to try this. I haven't tried it myself, and you guys know that I can freehand. You've seen it on my videos and everything, but even for somebody that's just starting to pick it up, uh, 
please give this thing a shot. Consider it, just at least look at it. Um, I, I love it. I've got it upside down. They sent this to me specifically to put on here to show you guys. We have got a medium, a coarse, an extra fine, and a fine stone. Little bottle of honing oil in this neat little tube that you can put it back in. So we're going to open it. I'm going to show you guys. I'm not going to use it right now. I will make another video on using it. But I was just so excited about uh, opening this thing up and showing to you guys. I had to make a video first. Got this neat little cap that goes right back into this thing. Snaps in pretty good. Well, I've got the honing oil crooked, but uh, take it out. And it says, honing oil, petroleum product, keep out of reach of children, obviously. And that honing oil is, is very watery. It's got a very low viscosity, which is good. One ounce of honing oil. Then I'm gonna take the actual product out. And I, guys, I love seeing this right here, made in the USA. There is a translucent Arkansas here. There is a fine hard Arkansas a soft Arkansas and this is a coarse but it's not an Arkansas stone it is it's either aluminum oxide or a silicon carbide and this is what you would do your damage repair on uh, set your bevels things like that then you would go to your medium Arkansas which is a soft then you would go to your fine which is is really going to start to produce that edge uh, and then you're going to go to your translucent. And guys, this translucent that I'm looking at, all the stones are beautiful, but this translucent that I'm looking at is just, it's its a very, very high quality translucent. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, I believe this is poplar that they've used on this. Very, very good looking little system here. But what makes this so unique is See these little notches right here? This is what, this is your reference to sharpen. And you've got one on both sides, on all four sides. I, I think that is the coolest thing to date that I have seen to, to help teach somebody how to uh, hold a consistent angle and sharpen. Um, this thing is just, it's awesome. Um, the stones themselves are six inches long by an inch wide. And uh, this is just a nifty, nifty little thing here. And I'm going to read to you guys what uh, this little instruction pamphlet says here that, that comes with this. Uh, it says Dan's Easy Hone Knife Sharpening System. I failed to say that. This is the Easy Hone. Uh, and it's got some nice little illustrations here. It's got their website and their uh, address. It says the Easy Hone Knife Sharpening System offers a new and simple approach to mastering the art of knife sharpening. End block references, which is what I showed you guys. Um, end block reference angle assures starting each stroke with a proper angle while eliminating the occasional steep angle which can counteract any improvement. With the assistance of the easy block reference angle anyone can learn to maintain a good working edge on their knife. And it's got the easy home little illustration here with somebody sharpening a knife. It says do not grind your knife. Grinding can ruin your knife. Using honing oil with your easy home stones never use them dry uh, number one lay the blade on the end block reference angle which will give the proper honing angle draw the blade towards you in a single sweep so that the whole blade from the guard to the tip is passed over the hone in one motion this being the guard and the choil to the tip 
So what they're saying is, start like this and draw the end to the tip. Turn the blade over and lay it to the end block reference angle at the other end of the easy hone and repeat the motion as in step number one, but in the opposite direction, obviously the other way. Take equal number of strokes for each side of the blade to maintain a balanced cutting edge. And I'm gonna get into that in another video, just so you have even bevels on both sides. The first honing will take quite a long time. Once a proper angle has been established, reprofiling, it can be maintained with very little effort if you do not damage or wear it out severely between honings. Um, the other side, the first part says history and general information. Forgive me if I don't pronounce this correctly. In the Wichita mountain stretching, mountain stretching from the east of Hot Springs, Arkansas, west into eastern Oklahoma, occurs nearly a pure silica rock formation known as Novaculite. The age of these formations is estimated to be more than 340 million years old. The sedimentary rock type derived from its name in the Latin word navacula, meaning sharp knife, navaculite rock is the rarest and finest abrasive stone in existence. It is known that the Indians of the area used the hard variety of navaculite for tools and weapons. There is evidence that trading between tribes resulted in the distribution of navaculite rock hundreds and maybe even thousands of miles from the direct source. Coring and using these natural abrasives for natural, or I'm sorry, coring and using these natural abrasives for knives and tools sharpening began in the early 1800s. Each whetstone is cut by hand with diamond saws, finishing, grading, and packaging. Today, they are marketed worldwide. And guys, these stones aren't just used for sharpening knives. Um, they're used for dental. They're used for uh, jewelers use them. Watchmakers use them. Uh, Mr. Dan actually informed me that a lot of uses for uh, Novaculite products that I didn't even know about. Uh, the next section is composition and properties. Novaculite is a compact quartz, quartzose rock of almost pure silica content. The technical advantage of the Arkansas oil stone are derived from the crystalline structures of individual quartz grains compromising more than 99% of Novaculite rocks. Voids and exposure of crystalline ed edges exchange the sharpening ability of this natural abrasive. Two basic classifications of whetstones are known as a hard Arkansas and a soft Arkansas. The hard Arkansas is, a, is very fine grained, hard and compact with an uneven, I have never seen this word in my life, conjugal fracture. Novaculite is brown or yellow tints due to its amount of nature of the minute impurities present. The soft Arkansas represents the unglazed porcelain and has approximately the same composition as the hard Arkansas stone. It is relatively less compact, resulting in a high prosperity and less density, referring to the soft. Uh, grade and application. Soft Arkansas medium is the most popular of the four grades. It is used by woodcarvers, sportsmen, butchers, and commercial knife sharpeners. Housewives and others who desire a keen polished edge on their knives and tools in a minimum amount of time. That's the reason I always tell you guys that one of my favorite stones is uh, is the soft Arkansas because it's just it's a very widely used not or a very widely used stone, and you can produce a very sharp edge just off that stone by itself um, with. A, a proper um, reprofile, of course. Um, I mean, you could even reprofile if you had to on a soft Arkansas, but at the same time, get a very, very, very sharp edge. Um, I'm almost done here, guys. Hard Arkansas. Fine is for fine polishing and maintenance of a fine edge on your knife or tool. Black and translucent extra fine stones are classified 
classifications including the true hard Arkansas grade category according to the specific gravity under density, density standards. The reason there is a classification in this grade is because of color preferences by customers. Black Arkansas stones are black or blue, black in color. Translucent Arkansas may be a uniform, may be a uniform. Translucent shades of gray, white, yellow, or brown, and sometimes even pink. One day I will own a pink translucent. Those are beautiful, which they all are, but, but uh, there has been a lot of time and effort put into these folks' company. And I, I encourage you guys um, to go over to danswetstones.com and check out some of their products. And guys, this, this isn't a website just to buy stuff off of. There's information on there that you can read and it will give you the, your, your foundation of Navaculite knowledge. Um, these are very knowledgeable people, very friendly people. And uh, you call them up and talk to them and they're just as nice as they come. And again, they were nice enough to send this to me to review for their company and especially for you guys. Um, again, you're gonna pay just a little bit more for these, but you're paying for superb quality. And uh, you guys, uh, when you get done watching this video, whenever you get a chance, go over and check out their website, please. And if you have any questions or anything, I'm sure that they will be happy to pick up the phone and talk to you guys about anything that you would uh, like to know about the products. Um, I will be doing another video soon on actually using this and uh, showing you guys the results from it from start to finish and maybe a couple other things with it. Um, I'm excited about using it and I'm excited to show it to you guys and I'm excited for you guys to go over there and uh, check out their company. Um, and you guys will get some of the finest edges that, that you can imagine if, uh, if you use a good Arkansas stone, especially if you go on up in the really super high grits and the, the translucents and the blacks and the blue blacks. And, and they're just, they're heirloom quality stuff, something you can pass on down to your kids. Um, that's all I've got for this for now. And I'll get you guys a video up as soon as I can on uh, actually using this thing. Uh, you guys have a good evening. Take her easy. Go over and check them out. Uh, subscribe for more content. Give me a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Y'all have a good evening.